Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and I'm reading Avengers number three, point one. That's important. So, again, this is all the way back to the original uh, switch over of the Avengers way back in the early days. We're talking when Quicksilver, Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch, and Captain America and Hawkeye took over for the Avengers, and people like Hank Pym and, and the Wasp, the Hulk, Thor, and what's his name iron man actually left the avengers technically hulk left right before captain america came on the point is that this goes back to explain the early days of that transition because it was never explained in the original comics and basically all we have here is crescenda is this girl who's giving extra powers to the avengers to make them stronger making the public believe in them more but it turns out that she's killing people by doing it absorbing life from one to another if you've ever seen carnival the uh HBO special from way back in the day. There were two seasons of it. It's kind of like that. If you haven't seen that, dude, you totally check that out. Really good watching. Anyway, so what happens here is that Crescent is actually evil. <laughs> she knows what her powers is doing, and she's now causing derision. She's actually making the Avengers not trust each other. And then she actually causes Hawkeye to run off and get into a fight with the Enforcers. That's a old school, long standing Spider Man set of villains. That's Ox, Fa Fancy Dan. And she is able to reach through a television and reach out and touch Ox, increasing his power. So now, while he makes short work of the others, Ox is taking out Quicksilver. And he actually snaps one of his legs, which is just, oh, come on, man. And that's pretty much where it ends. She says one down, three to go. She's planning on, you know, wiping out the Avengers. And it's funny because next issue, we're apparently going to be seeing the Frightful Four. So I don't know where the Fantastic Four is in this. I actually wouldn't mind seeing them. I don't think that I will, though. But either way, it'd be interesting to see a quick little return of Reed Richards and the Invisible Woman along with the thing in Human Torch. So... Guys, I'm going to give this comic a C plus. There was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't particularly exhilarating. I don't know that this comic is going to last a whole lot longer because I don't know how much more story they have to tell, but it's interesting as it stands. So anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.